Hi, I'm Kevin Gray. I'm the youth director here at Hickson United Methodist Church, and today is Wonder Wednesday, and I have been wondering at the human mind. Have you ever gotten in your car and just had your mind so full of, of thoughts about the day, maybe replaying scenes of what's happened for work or anxious or planning your, you know, what you're going to have to do, and, and you thought so much that you arrived at your destination, pulled into the driveway, and had no idea how you got there? It's amazing what happens in the human mind that we're not fully aware of. It's been said that comparatively what happens on the surface in our mind versus what's going on underneath the surface is like a snowball to an iceberg. That there's so much going on underneath there that we really aren't aware of that have a whole lot to do with our behaviors, with our instincts, with our reactions to people and, and the way that we tend to make decisions in our day. A lot of it has to do with what's going on underneath the surface. Peter says this in 1 Peter chapter 1. He says, therefore prepare your minds for action, discipline yourselves, set all your hope on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring you when he is revealed. Like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires that you formerly had in ignorance. Instead, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. For it is written, you shall be holy for I am holy. And again, that sounds really almost impossible for us. Uh, and especially for us to be able to get underneath the surface with what's going on there. Uh, and, but he's talking about we set our hopes on Christ Jesus. And here's what's interesting. I think what goes on underneath the surface is developed by habit. And what if we decided to be intentional about our habits? Because when we get together and we celebrate Advent with our families and we think about what our desires really are and where our hopes really come from, when we read scripture, when we meditate upon the scriptures, when we pray, these are habits that actually set our desires on Jesus. And eventually, all that stuff begins to bubble up from underneath the surface and our thoughts, our desires change. And so I want to encourage you this Advent season to think intentionally about what's going on underneath the surface there in our minds and how do we create some habits in our life of drawing closer to the Lord and setting our hope on Christ Jesus. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful Advent season.